You're back with me now. I have a little farm scene set up for you this morning. Um, you might remember this barn. We often use it in the fall and sometimes in the spring. In the fall, we talk about harvesting and picking uh, vegetables from your garden. And in the spring, we often talk about baby animals and how sometimes, you know, we may visit the farm in, well, any season of the year you can. But if you remember, um, the roof comes off and you can just set up your little farm animals with the barn and put them to sleep and things like that. So I keep this at home, but I do bring it into school from time to time. And I don't have any farm toys, you know, the cows and the pigs, like what we would play with at school. But I do have these different guys that I just placed onto your paper towel tube or toilet paper tube. And now they're kind of little posable animals that you can move around and you could put them in your barn. So you can use cardboard boxes that you might have at home and you could make um, different things like this, different structures if you wanted to create a barn. So I thought these were a kind of a fun way to introduce our activity today, which was just a sensory activity. I am also using this that we made, this little fenced in pen area, and I just put some oatmeal. I know we haven't done a lot of sensory activities together um, during my videos, but I know we always at school would, would have sensory activities every day in our sensory table. So I wanted to just show you another way of how you could do that at home. So yes, I just, I didn't have a lot of oatmeal, but I just put it here in another cardboard box that we've repurposed here. And I just thought we could try now to do a little math also with our sensory. So feel free to play with this. And I have a scoop here and we are going to feed perhaps the piggy first. So we feed the piggy and I have different bowls. One, two, and three written on them. And I'm going to have you help me count how many scoops we can feed the piggy. So we're going to feed the piggy one scoop. You ready for some slop, piggy? Ready? One. Oh, he's going to eat it up. Mm, yummy. <laughs> now we can feed the horse this many scoops of oats. Two. One. Two. He's gonna trot inside the pen and have his breakfast. <laughs> no, no. He's gonna go off toward the barn now. Now we have one more animal. White woolly sheep. And she's ready for her breakfast and she is going to eat three scoops of oats. So help me count those. One, two, three. Come on and eat. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Bah, bah. Mmm, there, all the animals have been fed now. So, they're gonna go off and play in the meadow or in the barn with some of their animal friends. So yes, I just had some of these other animals around my house, but you might, like I said, you might have some of your own farm figurines. And yeah, so you can do lots of different things with simple things that you have around your house. And it's just fun to, to play around and get creative and use your imagination in your play. These are the baby ducks and there's the duckies at the pond. And you can do this all the while, you know, you sing your farm songs and, and have fun playing down on the farm. So I hope that you can get some ideas with using this ideas for activities and you can go off and use your imagination and have a fun play at home. Bye-bye.